Welcome my friends, we have a Town Hall 8 taking down a Town Hall 9, and yes, you can do it. I don't even have Max Golems or Max King for Town Hall 8, and you can take down these lower 9s. Now this is, now I know everything's not Max defensively, but having the Expos and the Queen, that just makes it so much more difficult. Expos are in the core as well, hard to get to, but you can do it. Let me show you how. I am Clashologist Halo Ochreheads teaching you some amazingness. Now look, why am I bringing minions up here? Guys, free funnel. Free funnel. You can use the time as well. Time's not an issue on these Town Hall 8, so take your time. And I put the wizard down over here because it's outside of the range. Then I put the golems in. So you see how I funneled there? Perfectly done, executed, and you always want to make sure your golems. Here comes the wall breakers, open up the wall, and then I'm going to put a rage and the bowlers down as well. So why am I bringing a rage and bowlers? Well, the rage here with the wall breakers is to open up to the inner core. Under rage, wall breakers do awesome damage. Awesome damage indeed. There goes the poison. And look, the wall breakers get all the way into the core. And the re reason how they do that is because they got that rage and I brought enough wall breakers. Hey, I have two wall breakers to spare. Pause it. Actually, right now, look. Now, I plan to put um, hogs on these outside perimeters. The reason why you could put hogs here, see this kill squad? They can't take down these archer towers. And right, this is a perfect time to do it. So I do three, three, and three. Three hogs per each of those buildings will get the job done. And then on the last one, I do put four. I could have put three, but anyways, I got wizards down as well. Look at the wizards down. Clearing out the um, all the trash buildings. You want to get those down immediately because if there's ever any sake of time, especially if you're going to create a long funnel or have to lure the CC, it takes time. You want to get that cleanup down right away. But look at this. Saving my heal spell to the last section here. And look at these OP bowlers. Bowlers taken down with the bowler bounds of that uh, a wizard tower. So amazing. Got a full golem up. Got tons of wizards. Got three bowlers up. And I started with four. And guys, you can take down Town Hall 9s. You can do it. Yes, it's low. Of course, you can't take down a max Town Hall 9. There's some limits. I could. You can actually take down a little bit higher of a Town Hall 9 than this one. But having those expos are very deadly. If you don't know anything about expos, if you're a Town Hall 8... They are extremely deadly. And I've got four wizards up, three, a full golem, a couple hogs, and I'd even have max golems. I'll call that a crush. The only mistake I made, make sure you uh, put archers or minions on the builder huts in the corners. I've seen so many time fails that way, but make sure you do that. That was my only mistake I made in this attack. Otherwise, everything went to, to went to according to plan. Somehow that missed my missed it, but it doesn't matter. I still had about 50 seconds left. That's why Tunnel 8's time fails are very hard to do. But my friends, my friends, that is how you do it in the land of the hoes. In the hoggies? In the land of the hog? I don't even know. Try this strategy out. Bring those wall breakers. They're totally worth it to break inside the base. And if you notice, guys, right above my head. We got Shang, he's a guy, he designed this above my head. You see you see the color change happening in the loon? Man, that is beautiful, beautiful indeed. Now let me just show you some other Town Hall 8 attacks because, you know, here's my other one. Now I know this is not Max, um, but this is my other strategy I like to use and it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. I didn't even, cru I, I did pretty well on the base. I could have crushed it more, but we'll do it up on double time. Now, you gotta lure the CC, let's go kill it. Uh, let's go kill it. And the reason why I, I, I took down this cannon, because I wanted my hogs to shift from 12 to 3. Um, that's why I went on the corner here, instead of luring it uh, maybe at the, say, archer tower. Anyways, got a giant to tank for the bomb tower. Here comes the bunch of hoggies coming in. Look at this. Cleanup is already there and protecting it. And then my first heal spell, I'm just going to put right kind of here on the core. I got a bunch of hogs, and then I got some back end hogs for this kind of section over here. They're gonna loop around, and look at this. Very perfectly healed, very nicely done. Could have put a poison on the king. That probably would have been smart. If you can think about that going forward, you can do it. But again, these mass hog hits, it's very hard to take down. Now I know this is not maxed out. Everyone's gonna be commenting, well this, well you face these bases guys. I'm just showing you these, these aren't of course the best base designs, I already know that. But Town Hall 8s will be taken down no matter what, right? Uh, so I know you face these kind of internet bases and just giving you some strategies to maybe, uh, maybe go out there and give it a go. But here's another one. Now this is a little bit higher Town Hall 8. This is more maxed out, if not maxed out completely. Actually, it is maxed out completely, I think. Pretty sure. But an internet base, I want to show you this. You can use this sort of strategy. Now I mentioned, I, ha I have had this video using a, a Go Ho Wee. Now the Go Ho Wee with 11 wall breakers. That is important. 11 wall breakers here. 
Why are the 11 wall breakers important? Because they can break inside the base. That's the whole point of the wall breakers. Under rage, they do a lot of damage. Here comes more wizards. Now, what I really like to see, though, is save at least one wizard for cleanup. Please save at least one wizard for cleanup, no matter what, because if you don't, what's gonna happen is time fails. Uh, and now, especially if you lose a lot of troops. Now, if you dominate the attack, it won't matter, but say you lose a lot of your troops, it is going to end up in a time fail. So this sort of strategy is not even using golems. Look at this. Look at the wall breakers. Look what they did. They opened up this whole compartment. What that means is golems can push in further. They can tank a little bit longer. Um, and it just goes all, all around smooth. Look at this. He's doing three hogs on that archer tower. He's going to save probably three more hogs. Look at that. Three more hogs for Scotty. Four. And look, that is how you do it. The reason why you spread them out that way, guys, is pure planning. See, this wizard tower just doesn't have as much damage. If all of the hogs were together, um, it just wouldn't go well. Like, you would get more damage. You'd lose more hogs to spring traps. Plus, if you do three, three, three um, hogs on each building, it takes down that defensive building uh, quicker. Uh, does that make sense? So you, you definitely want to sprinkle in those hogs. You can do three or four hogs per building. Uh, three is a good number. But for whatever reason, may, maybe there's uh, extra some Teslas around there. You can maybe throw in a fourth or something. But that was a crush. Swag and heal, crush, amazing attack against a max base. Yes, that is why base design is important. I know it was just like an internet type base, but it doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter because it was total destruction. Now, here is another. Now, let me show you one more attack. Now, all different types of strategies. This is not quite maxed out, no, but I know you see these bases. Not quite some of the some of the buildings. Um, well, the king's almost maxed, but not quite there. So, you know, it's it's a decent Town Hall 8 base, uh, but um, as far as base design, probably not the best. Actually, not the best. It's, it's your typical internet standard base. So if you want to get an anti-3 base, I've done those videos. Make sure you go watch those, and it will go well for you. I promise you. Promise you that. But look at this. Now, this time, because the kill squad is not as large... He only has one golem. You don't have to bring all those wall breakers. Uh, now, it would have actually, if he had brought extra wall breakers with the rage, you see what see what's going to happen here? His golem's just kind of going to get stuck on some walls. The bowlers will too. So if he had wall breakers, even with one golem, just a couple more, it would have opened up this whole intersection. Look at these. See, see this, these archer towers would have locked onto the golem. These would, This wizard tower, it would have broken all inside there. So it would have been very nice um, as far as tanking. His uh, golem and king would have done some serious damage. But, you know, it doesn't matter. It's so low weight. It's not the biggest deal. But that's why I really like using those those extra wall breakers. Under rage, though. you got to make sure you put the wall breakers under rage. Uh, he's going to probably swag <laughs> two heals. <laughs> no, he could have if he wanted. But, again, don't, don't swag, guys. Just, just make sure you get that three star. But I will say the, the big flaw here... What do you notice what's going on, guys? What do you notice? He's got builder huts in the four corners, and he has, what does he not have? He doesn't have cleanup. Always, if you have, always bring four archers if you have builder huts in the four corners, and always save at least a wizard or two, or bring some goblins or something if there's storages out there, or lit collectors, for the cleanup. I've seen a lot of time fails. You always have to bring cleanup. Before you attack in, see where the cleanup is. If there's co corner huts, bring four archers no matter what. Um, if there are, you know, a, a lot of cleanup and, and, and you think it's going to be a tight race or you have to lure the CC, it takes more time, bring a wizard or two for cleanup, guys. You have to have it. If you don't, you will time fail. Yes, at Town Hall 8, you will time fail, especially because hogs, it takes a long time if you don't get that in four corners. Anyways, hopefully it helped you out and uh, come back for more awesomeness. You shall learn from Halo Okra Heads and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Tally ho! My new phrase? Yeah, we're gonna hit, we're gonna catch it with my new phrase. Tally ho. I'll tell you about that in another video. <laughs>